guys, how you doing? Thanks for being here. Welcome to the channel. Um, so today we are working on buttoning up some more items with the 408 cleaver. And in addition to that, I'm going to be checking the fluid in my transmission. And I thought I'd make a public service bulletin for those of you who are in need of it. Uh, I've had some questions as of late about what fluid to run in a T5 or a TKO transmission and why. Um, so if you check in it with any Ford Tech or any old service bulletins, I've looked up quite a few of them on a T5 and also I've looked with Tremec to find out what fluids they recommend. And, and uh, across the board it is an ATF. So um, it's an automatic transmission fluid. If you use gear oil, you are probably not going to have the greatest results. So if you are one of those people who are using gear oil in your transmission, I have heard many people say that it can quiet things down. Uh, yes, that's true. The reason it does that is because like a gear oil is a lot thicker than something like an automatic transmission fluid. Um, also, the automatic transmission fluid has a lot more detergents and cleaners that are better for a manual transmission. The gear oil, I've heard a lot of people use that. Um, I've, I've heard some people say that they had a transmission that was broken or not shifting right and they put gear oil in it and it started working properly. Well, the only thing that gear oil does is mask issues. It is a thicker um, type fluid, so it's going to hide a lot of issues and complications that you can have with your car. So don't use it. it it's just not good practice. So. Uh, the other thing with a fluid that's that viscous, especially in a transmission, is that the parts are moving a lot faster. So when you put something like a thick gear oil fluid in there, uh, it's going to cause a lot more heat and it's going to cause things to create more friction because they can't move as free with the, uh, with the gear oil in there. And I've also heard, uh, now this is something that I haven't confirmed, but I've heard many people tell me that you can actually lose horsepower through putting a gear oil or something that thick inside of a manual transmission. So don't do it guys, not a good idea. <clears throat> so back to the cleaver here. So this has a TKO 600 behind it, uh, very similar to the T5. Um, I've had a T5 in this car. Um, the one thing that I would recommend um, as an option instead of an ATF, it is still an ATF, but I use an Amsoil ATF and it is a fully synthetic ATF that is uh, more of a racing fluid, but it is it's very good. The Amsoil has some better fluid properties than a regular ATF, so that's why I run it. At least that's what they claim. I've had good luck with it and that's what I've always run in my race car, so um, I'm going to stick with the, uh, the Amsoil ATF. So um, What I'm going to show you guys here is where to fill it from but I'm also going to show you how to check how much fluid you've got in the transmission. So let's get started on that now. We are going to go to the passenger side of the car and we are going to go underneath here to the transmission. So on your transmission you will find a couple of different things and the actual fill for your trans will depend on what you've got. So this is a TKO and as you can see on it, let me get you in a better spot. So as you can see from it, I've got a uh, plug here and I've got a plug here. This one is your drain plug and this one is your fill plug. So the most common way to do this to drain your fluid, you'll take your drain plug out and then to fill it, put your drain plug back in and you will take your fill plug out. So your fill plug, you will fill fluid through here with a pump of sorts, um, usually a hand pump, and then you will fill it until fluid comes out of this. The one thing you want to make sure of when you're doing this is that you fill the fluid when the car is level. If you do it with just the front jacked up and the back is on the ground, you'll end up with uh, the fluid will be kind of resting in the back of the transmission so you can get an over full condition. So it's best to do this with this car as level as you can, just FYI. So on this, 
we would take the drain plug out to drain and the fill plug out to fill. So what I'm going to do is take the fill plug out and what I'll usually do is I'll stick my pinky finger in there and see if I can feel the fluid. That way I know if the fluid is full enough. So let's do that. So I'm just going to use a crescent wrench here on these. On, on some of them, uh, some of the T5s I've worked on, they've had a square hole that's a half inch um, socket end, or I guess an extension end, or the ratchet end that goes into it here. So instead of the square being out, the square is in, you got to insert this into it to get the plug to come out. Well, sometimes you just got to get the BFH. And knock things around a little. There we go. Now there is a chance that uh, some fluid could leak out. I haven't checked how full this is, so we will slowly take the drain plug out and see see if we've got any surprises waiting for us and if we do it's going to drip right on my light yep we are full <laughs> all right so there we go easy enough so if you take this top bolt out and you get fluid that's coming out of it that means it's full so no fluid necessary if you don't you can stick your pinky finger in there check out the fluid height um, either that or sometimes what I like to do if you have one is use a um, use a borescope camera and you can stick it in that hole there and you can see where the fluids at so that's another option that you have Yeah, we've got, got enough fluid in there, so we're going to leave it at that. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I don't want to end up having to refill it. So, there we go. Well, so now we'll go ahead and tighten our plug back up. I'm not sure why it was so tight before, but we're just going to get it snug down. It doesn't need to... We don't need to break any world records for torque applied here. So, there we go. All right. There we go. All done under here. All right. Fluid level is verified. We know that the transmission is good and full. The other thing that you can do if filling, if filling the trans from underneath is not really uh, what you want to do if you don't have a pump to do that, the other thing you can do, come inside the car here and you can actually fill it from where the shifter is. So. If you don't, sorry, <laughs> if you don't have the means to fill it from underneath with the uh, plug that's under there, you can take all of the, we get here, you can take the trim off, you can take the shifter handle off, and if you actually remove the base or the shifter itself, you can fill it through there. So you've got a couple of options. So really, at the end of the day, so really at the end of the day, it's up to you on how you want to fill it. I prefer filling it from underneath. I don't like taking all the interior stuff off. Plus, I don't like the uh, possibility of filling or of uh, spilling fluid in the interior of the car. So, uh, if you do fill it inside where the shifter is and you take that apart to fill it, you still have to take the fill plug out so that you know when it's full enough. Just FYI. So either way, you're taking the fill plug out. If you don't have a cheap pump to pump the fluid in there, 
you can fill it up through the shifter hole and then you can watch until fluid starts coming out of the top bolt hole and you can stop at that point. Well, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them below. If you guys haven't been here before, I do have merch. I've got hats and stickers on the website. I also do some pie dash stuff. So go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link up here on the web or uh, for the website if you guys want to check that out. And as always, thanks for being here, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.